going on? I'm so excited that you are here watching this video because I need to share a few things with you that you may not have known about your hair care products currently in your house. As a cosmetic chemist, I've seen a lot, I've done a lot, and I can show you guys some things that actually might make your life a little bit more easier and maybe some things that you just did not know about, you know? So stay tuned. Okay, so number one, now this may vary depending on the brand, but you ever notice how a lot of hair care brands will have different lines of products under that one brand? So let's say Susie has a natural hair care brand and she has her mango line and her shea butter line. A lot of times the conditioner, the leave-in, and sometimes the moisturizer all will have the same base. We call them chassis, okay? They'll have the same type of formulations, like very similar formulas between those three cream-based products. So I will say this, if you are trying to decide if you wanna invest in the conditioner, the leave-in and the moisturizer, start off with like the leave-in conditioner. If you like the leave-in conditioner, more than likely you are going to end up liking the conditioner and possibly the moisturizer as well because of the basis of those formulas are pretty similar. Once again, this will vary based off the brand, based off the product, but that's just a quick little tip in regards to trying to see what will work and what won't work for you. And so you don't have to like, you know, waste your money on stuff, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's number one. All right, number two, a lot of your products are multifunctional, which is really awesome, especially when you run out of something or you're like, I'm in the shower, I left my such and such in the closet. I ain't trying to get out because of cold. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you be in the shower, you're trying to get out the shower. Because, okay, anyway. Your shampoo can also be used as body wash. Really? Yes. Now, should it completely replace your body wash? Uh, no, but in the case that you forget your body wash, you can totally use your shampoo because your shampoo has cleansing surfactants that are designed to remove dirt and oil off of the scalp. And our scalp is also skin, so when you are washing your body in the shower, you can use that shampoo as well because this is skin. Next is conditioner. So you can totally use your conditioner as a leave-in conditioner and sometimes a moisturizer as well. Now this is only in the case if you are using a regular moisturizing conditioner. If this is like a protein conditioner, I would not recommend it, but regular conditioners totally can use as a leave-in or even a moisturizer as well on top of that. You can also use your conditioner as shaving cream. Shaving cream is actually very similar also to a conditioner. You have some fatty alcohols, you have some glycerin in there to moisturize the skin. You have water as the first ingredient. So if you ever run a shaving cream in the shower, you know, put some little conditioner on and good to go. Okay, and the next is oils. So like your favorite hair oils, of course, you guys know, can be substituted as body oil as well. Now I will say this, if your hair oil has like peppermint oil in there, essential oils are designed to grow the hair, you may not wanna put that on your body because your body is gonna start to grow some hair. <laughs> Unless you wanted to, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, if you wanna use your hair oil as a body oil, you completely, completely can, but just make sure there's no like hair growth actives or oils in there because you just might not want that. Okay, so number three, I don't think this is talked about too often, but a lot of times, you know, a lot of you guys are adding things to your conditioner, to your moisturizer, to enhance it and make it better. That is great, that is completely fine. However, depending on what you are adding, it can actually mess up the preservation system of the formula. Every water-based formula has some type of preservation system within it to make sure that no bacteria, no mold, yeast are growing in there. Now, if you're just adding things like oil to a conditioner, you know, like adding the conditioner to like a bowl, adding your oils, mixing it up, putting it in your hair, that's completely fine. Now, if you are taking a jar of a hair mask or a conditioner and you're pouring water, like an aloe vera juice or some type of water-based ingredient into that formula, mixing it up and kind of just keeping it and storing it somewhere and not just using it one time, like as a one-time use, you could potentially be introducing microbes into that formula, which is not good. So I would say this, if you want to enhance your conditioner in some way, stick to more of the oils and stick to really just separating it from the main vessel or the main jar or bottle of the conditioner, just to make sure the preservation system is not being compromised. 
Speaking of preservatives, number four is something interesting you guys should know is that your oils are not going to have preservatives within them. So any type of hair growth oil, regular hair oil, whatever oil, typically is not going to have a preservative within it only because there's no water in the formulation. However, a lot of the oils that you guys do purchase for your hair, especially if it's like a blend of oils from like a hair care brand, will have vitamin E within it. And that's because oils will go rancid over time. But vitamin E within that formula helps those oils to kind of delay the process of going rancid. It kind of inhibits it for the most part. The vitamin E is an antioxidant and it's the oxidation that causes those oils to go bad over time. So your oils are not gonna have a preservative, which is okay because once again, water is what introduces microbes into the formula. But the absence of water is very difficult for microbes to grow in an oil environment. Okay, and last but not least is functional ingredients are better than marketing ingredients. If you have been a part of curly chemistry, if you have purchased my ebook, you already know what I'm about to say. You already know, okay? But if you don't know, I'm always going to say this, when you're looking for hair care products, you want to learn the functional ingredients. The functional ingredients are typically the first five or six ingredients on the ingredient list. Those are typically the, the, the workhorse, the performance ingredients in that formula that's giving you the effect that you want. A lot of times we purchase things based off of the marketing. Um, for example, pineapple, blueberry, coconut shampoo, you know, strawberry, watermelon, uh, moisturizer, you know, that sounds pretty, that sounds great, it sells, that's wonderful. However, I wanna make sure that you guys are purchasing with intelligence of knowing what you are putting on your hair that's really going to give you the effect and the performance that you want. So functional ingredients like the ones listed here are going to be more ideal for your hair, especially for curly hair. So look for things like that in the ingredients list. And like I said, marketing is okay, but you know, functional is where it's at. All right, guys, we have reached the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new. I have a question for you, of course, because I just, you know, have a question. Um, what is the best piece of hair advice you have ever received? And when I say advice, meaning you did it and it worked. So comment below, share with everyone. This is like the curly chemistry community down below in like the comment box. So definitely share the best piece of advice that you have ever received for your hair that actually work. And I look forward to joining the conversation with you. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Charmaine369. I'm gonna start doing some more Q&A sessions on there, so be sure to follow me to stay connected. Be sure to check out the Curly Girls Guide to Hair Care Ingredients. If you have not done so already, I'll have the link below for you to check out. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, you can work with me one-on-one, -on -one and I'll have a link for you below as well. All right, guys, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.